Afternoon guys. Well, a YouTuber by the name of King Cone asked if I'd do a video on my uh, cones, so here's some of them. I do have a stack of large, which I might go through probably on a Sunday if I'm at home. Um, I saw on a Sunday because that's when it's quietest out back and I won't get disturbed and I don't like getting disturbed which is why I do a lot of my videos up here anyway um, so thanks to King Cohn for his request uh, we st I'll start this side and I'll work my way, way, bleh, my way around Sometimes I wonder if I've got false dentures and I don't know about it. Right. So, I'm going to start with this one. This is a JSP cone. John Sa Johnstone Safety Products. In case anyone didn't know what JSP stood for. It is Johnstone Safety Products. And they still exist and they still manufacture cones and barriers and barricade lamps or road lamps, whatever you want to call them, etc. This one is a triangular one. And it is sand weighted, and I believe you can still buy these on their website, so there's nothing really special there. Here's two old Norfolk Constabulary cones, which I've found kicking around in hedges over the years. One's lost its sleeve, and it looks like it's been dragged along the road at some point. Uh, and the other one's still got its sleeve, although it's rather dirty and showing a lot of age. don't think Norfolk Police still use these this style. I don't see them ever put these out. I only ever see the um, triangular ones that I've got on my uh, right side. Anyway, next, this is the most recent one I picked up from an a, um, embankment. It's sand weighted. And it's got BT stamped on it, 1995. Uh, BT stands for British Telecom. So this one, it's lost its sleeve. But it uh, does still have its sand. And it is an XBT cone. They no longer use that style. This one, I think, is an X School PE cone because um, of this top bit because I know when I was at school we had this sort of design and they'd, um, the PE teachers would always put a cone, a cone a cane or something in this groove bit and they'd have another cone on the other side and they'd make like mini hurdles for us to uh, jump over when we were little can't remember where I found that one now um, I hand well I say hand painted I had some white spray paint left so I painted a white band on it, which was, it has actually stuck to this one. There's some marks on it where it's been knocked about and stacked with other cones, but it has stuck to that one. This one I did the same with, but it's all flaked off. This one it is more flexible. Oh, that one hasn't got any sand in it, by the way, and the sand's fell out. This one also hasn't got any sand in it. Um, there's no maker on it, no maker name on it, so... I have not got the foggiest idea who made that one, or how old it is. I just know it's actually pretty flexible. You can see there's some creases in it where it has been flexed in its life. And then I've got this one, which I found uh, in the hedge by some railway bridges in town, actually. So I want to cut a triangular hole in the end there probably to get the sand out, because that would have been another sand weighted comb. Again, there's no manufacturer name on that one, so I don't know the history of it. Oops. Oopsie. Next, we've got a JSP comb, Oxford, England. I know this is fairly recent. It's got the telephone number on there. Uh, and their website as well. 
And I know you can still get these ones on their website, or you could last time I looked. It wasn't actually that long ago, but that's got sand in it, but it is leaking out. I've got another one downstairs in the shed. I've got another one of these in the shed, but again, this one doesn't have any um, manufacturer name on it. And there's no sand in it. There's no sand in the other one either. There's just this sort of table here with a load of numbers on it. It's got 2006. Oh, I see. It's a calendar. So it's got 2006. Four. That's what the dots go up to. So I assume it's the, this was made on the fourth month, 2006. Oh, that's not as old as I thought it was then. Because I remember way back in the 1990s when I was a wee boy, uh, our local electricity engineers were um, called Eastern Electricity. Well, the company was. And they used to use loads of traffic cones like that one. And that's what I thought it was, but if it's actually that new, then it isn't. <laughs> right. Now we've got these um, all-in-one, one molded ones, which are I believe are actually quite new newer. This one's uh, Swintex Limited. It's got telephone number down there as well. If anyone wants the telephone numbers, I can uh, give them to you. It's got the part number there. 8.1985-A and the BS number. And it's got to be quite old, because uh, we don't have BS numbers now, I believe, because of the European Union, we have a, a different number. Okay, so this one is a lot newer. It's a BT cone as well. I don't know if BT still use these, but I do know this one's a lot newer. This has got BT 2006 on it, Oxford Plastics. Um, I will be Googling Oxford Plastics. Uh, this one looks identical, but the um, base is a lot light, is a lot thinner. You can see if I do that, you can just see the difference. The base on this one is a lot thinner. It is another um, Oxford Plastics one, but it doesn't have BT on it, so I assume this one wasn't made for BT. This one's top bit slightly different as well. Um, I've got two of these Oxford plastic ones. And I've got this one, which is another Swintex. All in one mould. And I painted the um, white stripe on that one as well, or the white band. Because it had no sleeve when I got it. It's just standard white paint, there's nothing there, it just makes it a bit more noticeable. So don't just collect these little traffic cones, I do actually use them as well. Right, and the last three are um, these triangular cones. This one, I can't remember the name of it off the top of my head, hang on. It's a warden from Oxford Plastics. Very well used, it's full of black tarmac. Because this was left, oh, they did some reserve some work not far from where I live, and uh, that was left on site. I never bothered to pick it up, as often happens with roadworks. And there's a prime example of that right around the corner from me right now, because before I start this video, I zipped across to Sainsbury's and uh, I'd already zipped across to Sainsbury's earlier today and. There were some workmen working on a BT box. They had all their cones and barriers, etc., etc., out and signs. And they, they had those signs that slip on over the top of cones. Well, that is still sitting there. Everything else has been packed up and gone. And uh, when I came back from Sainsbury's the first time, they were sitting in their van with the engine running, ready to drive off. And this cone with a men working sign stuck on it was still sitting behind the van. And guess what? It's still sitting there. They've buggered off and obviously gone back to base or whatever, and, or another job. 
my left up there. As often happens. These two... Well, anyway, let's get back to these. These two are both um, JSP cones. Um, but if you look at the bases, the actual bases are different. So I'm assuming one's newer than the other. I'm actually guessing this one is new. Actually, yeah, if I go on that side, I'm pretty certain this design is newer than that one. Because the tops are different as well. Again, these are Norfolk Constabulary. This came miles away, though. I don't even know how it ended up in my town. Because I'm miles from Watton. I'm probably a good 45 minute drive from Watton, if not longer. <laughs> so. Heck knows how it's ended up in Monotown, but there is Watton written on it. There's another one I found in a bloody hedge somewhere. Same with this one. No, actually this one was dumped over on the um, car park. Someone had dumped it on there. So they obviously nicked it from somewhere and dumped it and I picked it up. That's an older one. Still JSP, as I said. Yes, I, I don't know what it is, but I do like these older triangle cones. Triangular, no waiting cones. Not that any drivers ever pay attention to them. The number of drivers I've seen that actually get out, move the cones and park there anyway. <laughs> Despite the cones actually say no waiting, but never mind. <laughs> Some people just have to be assholes and ignore the cones anyway. Even though they shouldn't, because even though they're not an official road sign, they are a sign, but on a cone, and you should obey them. But, uh, no, nope, some people don't. Some people are a law unto themselves, and have to ignore the rules. Yep, I've, um, been rendering up other videos, but... As I'm doing this in one shot, and it's going to be quite a short video, I'm going to put this up before I put any of these up. Oh, it's there. <laughs> I had so many faults, because what I do now, if I've got several clips of video, I'll um, make a folder on the computer and drop the um, footage into a folder. And that way I don't get confused and I don't have video footage all over the desktop that I can't remember what goes where, which I have at the moment. Which I might just say bugger it and delete the lot and just forget about it, because it'll be a lot easier. Right, this is all I do when I do the video. I drop the first clip in, and then drop the second clip in. And right where the clips meet, I go into um, visual effects. Now it's decided to move on me. Into visual effects again. Go down to the bottom one where there's a fade and put in the fade. So it fades in or fades out. I can't remember which one it does now. And then we just repeat the process. Like that. With the next clip. And that's all I do. Well, I'm back. Well, I'm not um, familiar with editing yet. I'm one of these days I will... Uh, just have a play with some old video clips and see what different things do for computer it's getting bloody dark in here now because of the rain, I can't see the keyboard Oops. this one would be vlog 7, I keep numbering them but uh Vlog 6 isn't up yet, so I'll have to do that before this one, otherwise it won't make sense. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I've uplo already uploaded a few videos as well today. This one's going to be the last one I'll upload today. I'm not dragging these cones down today, they can stay up here till tomorrow. So, uh, I hope King Cone liked the video. Mm, I don't have many, as you can see. I think there's about four small cones left out in the shed, but they all are duplicates of what I've got up here anyway, so I didn't see the point in dragging up the um, duplicates. 
So, I would have probably done the video outside today, but it's been raining all day, so, uh, still, it was nice and sunny, but now it's gotten all dark and horrible. So, uh, yeah, that's it for today. Or it for the current video, I should say. Uh, so, yeah, if you liked the video, thumbs up. If you didn't like it, thumbs down. I'm always open to suggestions. You know, if you see something in the background of my video, and, uh, I don't know, you want me to to do a video on, then just mention it in the comments. And all, like I said, I'm always open to suggestions and requests. And if I can do them, I'll uh, go ahead and do them. But uh, my pizza is probably getting close to being cooked. So, I can't move the cones with my foot, typically. Uh, I'm going to go and, ooh, smells nice, I'm going to go and uh, eat my pizza. I did want something quick and easy, but I suppose the pizza doesn't take too long in the oven, does it? 15 to 20 minutes. So, uh, I'll knob on that, and I will be making more videos later. I do have a few planned. But uh, anyway, that's it for this video, so thanks for watching, and until the next video, I'll talk to you again soon. Goodbye.